I'm Josh, I'm 23 years old. I've been in the Army for five and a half years. I'm a sergeant in the Army Marksmanship Unit. I teach and train other soldiers how to shoot probably, properly. Um, I've I like my job. I just got married in August. Um, she is beautiful and gorgeous and smart and she makes me happy. I'm in a good spot right now. Before I deployed, I was training for combat and training um, to be productive in a combat situation. That, whereas now, I teach other people how to become better shooters in a combat situation. It's July 11th, 2011. We were on patrol. We were going to a um, a village that had known Taliban. They they were making their IEDs and which is an improvised explosive device. And so we were going in there to get rid of them. And so going up to the village, we stopped in a grape field, and where we could see we had eyes on the village. And we were taking about five minutes just to drink some water before we can go in there and things can get hot and heavy. I'm third in line, there was two guys in front of me, and there's an open field about 200 yards before the first village. So our plan was to just jump out of the grape field and run towards the first, the first hut and go in and raid it and stuff. And so the first two guys go, they jump up, jump up, I go jump up, and an explosion goes off. I thought we were under attack and there was a rocket shot at me and it blew me forward. I didn't think I was hurt at all. And uh, they started shooting at us when the IED went off, which I stepped on. Um, so I started crawling back towards the grape field, the dug in grape field, because it was the only cover around me. I was crawling back and the fourth guy behind me was, I finally got close enough to where he could pull me down the wall of the grape field. And then as he pulled me down the wall, I felt the warm blood squirting out of my leg and run down my leg. And so I looked down at my legs and I saw that my left one was missing. And then my right one was hanging on by a thread. And I don't know how I crawled back without working legs, but I did. And um, then, um, and then we just waited for the helicopter to land. The helicopter landed, they put me on it, and then I woke up at Walter Reed three weeks later. I had 12 hour surgeries four times a week, so they just kind of kept me under. All my bones were broken in my legs, so they were just making everything to where we could repair and grow again. And there's, no, there's no way to train for looking down and missing legs. You can train to fix somebody and be like a combat medic and stuff. You can train to do that, but you can't train to look down and see your own disembodiment. There's really not much that I don't try to do. Now I can um, make fun of it and I can tell people it's a shark attack or tell kids I didn't eat my vegetables when I was a kid and lost my leg and um, just stuff like that. You know, this, I can make fun of it more than I, a lot more than for the first few months. It took me about November to get comfortable for like an hour on a leg. And then by the time I was walking daily without using my wheelchair, it was probably next summer. So summer of 2012. There's other guys who, who have legitimately put themselves in front of a rocket or jumped on a grenade. That's courage. I, I was just walking. I'll be in the army as long as my body will allow me to. If I could redo the past five years, I would, I would still join the army. I would, I would push for a, um, for like a special forces or a, a ranger contract or somewhere where I could be in a higher level infantry unit. But I would still, I'd still be in the infantry. And if I had still lost my leg, I, it's, it's okay with me. There's, I was, I still wouldn't change it. So this is the one that they managed to save. It, um, this is skin graft, so they took the, they took a layer of skin from somewhere else in my body and they put it there because there's all this skin here was burned away or just not there anymore. 
and the bones in here, so the tib and fib, the two bones that run down your uh, run down your calf, they were both broken. And so the doctor said that you could take my outside heel here and bring it up and touch your knee, or my knee. And so then it, it, took, it took almost a year and a half for the, these two bones to fully grow enough to where I could walk on it without some sort of brace or something. And this is my prosthetic. Uh, this is my wife's hairband because when I do my boots, my bossing in my boots, I use it to boss my boots around. So that's, I always have an extra hairband for my wife.